hey guys so happy valentine's day welcome back to my channel um today i'm just gonna show you some things that i got from my local um clothing exchange sort of like a thrift store but they are kind of more new cycle fashion i wanted to go ahead and show you guys some of the things that i got um i had never been to this location for um, actually except my husband dropped off some clothes there a couple times um, but there's another location I usually go to that's semi close ish um, but so I'm like oh you know I happen to be in the area and then I was doing some grocery shopping I'm like okay I'm gonna check in check out this location I've like literally never been in here and they always have like a sale rack right outside and then they have more sales items inside um, so it's funny, <laughs> these clothing stores, they do buy clothing, I forget what the percentage is, like at 20-30% or and then they, they mark it up, but they can be so picky and honestly I don't understand it because when, excuse my hands, I just got done with some food dye, <laughs> um, but uh, when I was inside and kind of looking around, I didn't really understand it. Like, you know, they're so picky and I've heard that it just really depends on who you get that looks through your clothes. Um, and they have a really inconvenient time that they do, like they do purchases, like buy your clothes and it's like between 10 and two, like Monday through Saturday or Monday through Sunday. And I don't really understand that. I just don't feel like that's really convenient, especially if you work or whatever, especially also like they prefer you to drop it off earlier in the morning uh, so this last time they didn't take like anything and I was just blown away because everything was in really good condition uh, like newer and all that and you know <laughs> the last couple times I visited uh, it's called free cycle clothing exchange the last couple times I have been in there I've seen like I swear like clothes that like came straight out of like maybe the 80s or the 90s clothes that look very vintage that, that, that look like really faded and really well worn I saw a super dry sweatshirt that was $25 that would have been cute if it didn't have visible staining on it <laughs> so I'm like you know there's a lot of like clearly like worn things that I, I feel like personally don't really seem that trendy um, or lightly used. Um, I mean I did find a few gems but there was quite a bit that I don't I don't understand. <laughs> and I brought, brought in in-season items too. So anyway I'll just get to everything that I got and yeah so we'll go ahead and get started. So it's all in this big bag here. Okay. So the first thing I got, I wasn't entirely sure on, but I love the material and I don't often buy black tops because I have five cats. <laughs> if you know, you know. Um, but this is really nice and soft and plushy. Um, it's, it was 15, so this one was not on sale. And this is a BB top. And I really love these types of tops. I actually really loved this little cuff detail. It's very similar to like a bomber jacket that I got uh, last time at their other location. Um, so I really like the sleeve and like this, like kind of, I think it's like fleece. Yeah, considered like a fleece material. Nice and warm. I mean, we're getting pretty warm, like starting to get warm again here in California. So I don't really foresee, you know, a sweater or a sweatshirt weather really lasting much longer, but anyway. So here is the rest of the stuff. Okay. All right, so the next one we have, this is from Victoria's Secret Pink. Um, this was half off, 14, so it was $7. It was a large, so it's like a little bit big, but um, like I could probably just tie it. It has this little tie, I can tie it some more. Looks like you wear like with a little, um, wear it over a bathing suit or a crop top or camisole or something. I just love the uh, tropical print a lot. So I had to get it. So this is really cute. I like this a lot. So that'd be nice to wear. 
And then I also picked up like a few t-shirts just because we are going into spring and you know I don't think I got like two long sleeves. But I got some t-shirts so this actually is an XL but I think this was made in China or Hong Kong. A Hong Kong size XL. Um, it's kind of more like mm, I'd say maybe a US large. It's, it's like like it's big but it's, it's not like this kind of looks like a men, like equivalent to a men's medium, I'd say, or a women's large. Um, but not like a unisex XL. It just says, I love Hong Kong. I thought this was really cute. I love stuff like this. So I did get that, and that was $12, so it wasn't half off, but I did really like it. And I would rather just pay a little bit more for something I really like rather than just something like, oh, it's cheap, you know, and just buy it because it's cheap, you know, so... Um, okay, so the next one I have here is a medium. This was also a full price at 13 This actually, if you know, you know. This reminded me of our dream team. Um, it has a Chinese character for dream. And this is a glimpse into a series of images, ideas, and emotions that you might have missed during the day. I really like that. And yeah, I'm going to have to take a picture of this afterwards and, and show everybody. Uh, but I really like this too. This is really cute. Um, so I picked this up and there's that and then I have another t-shirt I I'm pretty sure this is the UK but it has like this tropical design going on and it says local motion and local motion Hawaii so I'm kind of confused so it has a, like a British flag that says ho like Hawaii I'm really confused yeah but I really do like the shirt it's really cute so I did pick it up and then I did happen to find this Victoria's Secret um, long sleeve shirt this was 15 I got it because I love the bling I really love the bling that's on here Little, um, uh, little bling embellishments here, her sequins. Really like that. It's kind of like an oversized top, like a hooded top. And it is a medium, yep. Yeah. So I really like this one. If you guys can see it, I probably should be back a little bit more, right? So, you guys see that? That's kind of what that looks like. And then I also got uh, this pink Intimate uh, Jog Bra. This was a medium for $5. It was uh, more than half off. So it was initially $14, then it went to half off, then it went to $5. And I'm surprised no one bought this because this is so cute. I love the blue floral detailing on here. Um, and, I, and I love these for doing my home workouts. So I'm like, well, that's really cheap for pink. So I got... I uh, got this little jog bra and then I got this one from this is by Madewell sometimes you see like some really good gems in a large this was full price at 14 so this is really cool hardly worn I love the like the loose fitting here because that's really cute and nice and then I also got this was half off this is um by Zara and this was 16 no it was half off so it was eight um this is kind of like one of these uh Ch Chiang Sam's uh but not like it's more like it like a like a mini dress so um I don't know how long it's gonna come on me but I may like if it's too short I may wear like leggings with it because it's not like like a full size dress if you know what I mean um uh, that's really cool that Zara had something like this and so I decided to pick this up and they had a lot of cute uh, like Chinese uh, detailing. Maybe it's because of the um, New Year and stuff like that that they had a lot of these. So this is really cute. So can't wait to try that. And the last is very similar. Actually this was just put back after someone tried on while I was still in the store. Um, this is, mirrors a Chiang Sam. I used to have 
uh, when I was in high school, but it's more of like a, like a, like a mini dress. So it has little spaghetti straps and it is backless. So it kind of has backless. Um, this is a large, and this is actually from Shein. Um, and this was 14. So I thought this was kind of cute. Um, I'll probably have to show you guys. Uh, I have a kind of a cute Xiang Sam dress that's from um, Alice from I think The Looking Glass. I've had it for a while, um, but it's really cute. It's lavender and I have often worn that uh, for Halloween and then also for uh, like some good friends of mine hosts like a Chinese New Year's celebrations and I've worn it to that too and it's really cute. Um, so I like that. Um, but this is like the same as the actual traditional Chiang Sam that I used to have and if I can find a picture I will link it. It's literally the same exact design but this is like meant to be more like of a dress um, and it's by Shein so and I've been seeing a lot of Shein at these stores lately but um, yeah so this is a large hopefully it'll fit. I mean I find that Shein sizing tends to be pretty true to size. I'm not sure about Zara because they're more so I'm more of a mid-size gal and Zara tends to be kind of more straight shaped um, uh, um, I forget what's the term before mid-size more straight sized I guess like um, between like uh, like between zero and six or zero and four um, so we'll see because I think that one I think actually was that off it was, so I can't replace it if it doesn't fit. But so hopefully it'll fit because it does have a little bit of stretch and they, these guys usually don't, um, which is why I had to get rid of my last one. So, all right, last two things. I got some earrings. Uh, these earrings here uh, with these like little like star confettis. I thought this was super cute. These were tens. I, I don't think they're the cheapest. I feel like I could probably get something like this off Shein. Uh, I don't know where they get these, but it, I just feel like you can get something like this off like AliExpress or Shein for like a dollar or two. Um, these ones too, but I did really like them. But ordinarily, I mean, it's still better than Nadine West. I'll give them that. <laughs> if you guys know, you know. <laughs> still better than Nadine West. So these with the dried flowers are similar. See, these are the ones I actually got off of Shein, I think, yeah. And they have dried flowers and gold flecks in them. So that's what I'm wearing today. So that's off Shein and they're only a couple bucks. So just so you know. Um, but yeah, so that is it for that haul. I think I spent about $140. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys thought down below. It was just kind of an impromptu haul, but it's not really something that I looked at. I'm like, I just haven't been in there and I've been going to this Trader Joe's all the time and it's been right there. So I just decided I had some free time to check it out. Um, but yeah. Alrighty guys, here's the Madewell top. I actually really like it. Um, I have a couple other tops from Madewell, uh, with like their botanical collection. And this is just really cozy and true to size. Um, so I really like it, really cute. <laughs> so, really cute. The standard t-shirt. All right. So here is the Hawaiian slash UK type top, really cute. I think this is like a dark navy more than a black. But it is cute and I really do like it. <laughs> There's that. Here is the dreamer shirt. What the back looks like. Really cute. All right, so this actually does fit, but definitely not long enough. Well, yeah, still not, I guess it could be a mini dress. Um, it's actually cute. At first I wasn't sure, like I couldn't get over my shoulders and then I saw it had a side zip. Which actually, this does, this does zip up. Fits. <laughs> Don't know about the most flattering, but you know, I'm working on this. So, um, I honestly think it looks really cute with leggings. So I'm wearing some black leggings. Um, it is, I mean, these are meant to be tight and form-fitting. 
so because they're sort of like body cons which I don't normally like to get and then this buttons by itself so surprisingly it kind of fits probably fit better a little bit once I um, up my little workout game where is the button oh here we go where's the button Uh, I'll do that later but okay it's not a t entirely a deal breaker that just has to be worked on do do do